Hello everyone. Welcome to edupediaworld.com and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. This is Vikas Patil. This is fifth session of the chapter Materials of the Earth Crust. In this session, we are going to learn about the rock cycle. In this session, we are going to try and achieve the following objectives. First, develop understanding about the rock cycle. Second, acquire knowledge about the common process that change one rock type to another. Before we begin our exploration about rock cycle, let us look at some of the common misconceptions that exist regarding the same. First, some of us believe that all the different kinds of rocks came into existence at the same time. Well, that's not true. In the previous session, we have learned that igneous rocks were the first rocks to be formed on the earth's surface. Second, some people believe that rocks of one type cannot change into another type. That means rocks remain in the same form. That's not right. Let us look at the facts about rock cycle. The three types of rocks present in the earth's crust are interchangeable. This change of one type of rock to another and back to the same form is known as rock cycle. The rocks present in the crust undergo constant changes and these changes convert them from one form to the other. All these changes are caused by the internal forces and the external forces. The internal forces are the forces that act from inside the earth. The internal forces involve tectonic movement, rising magma, earthquakes, etc. On the other hand, the external forces are controlled by the agents of nature and gravity. Let us understand how it happens. As we all know that when the earth formed, the igneous rocks were the first rocks to be formed due to cooling and solidification of molten material present on the earth. The crust of the primitive earth was made up entirely of igneous rocks. That's why igneous rocks are known as the primary rocks. The question that arises here is that how did other rocks came into existence? Since igneous rocks were the only rocks present on the primitive earth, they are also known as primary rocks and the other two types of rocks formed out of the pre-existing igneous rocks. Let's look at how igneous rocks convert to sedimentary rocks. In the primitive earth, with passage of time, the atmosphere formed and it began to thrash the rocks exposed on the surface and break them into smaller pieces. These rocks were further broken down to form sediments and taken from one place to another by the dynamic agents like river, wind and glacier. Furthermore, these sediments got compacted and cemented to form new rocks. This way, igneous rocks turned into sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks can again convert into igneous rocks. Sedimentary rocks can melt due to the heat of magma 
or friction generated due to plate movement some of this molten rock might erupt again on the surface while the remaining may remain stuck within the crust or get mixed in mantle in any way as this molten rock cool and solidify it forms new igneous rocks that's how sedimentary rocks convert back to igneous rocks igneous rocks can also convert into metamorphic rocks in the primitive earth as igneous rocks were getting converted to sedimentary rocks simultaneously these igneous rocks went through some more changes since the primitive earth's crust was very unstable numerous volcanic eruptions plate movements earthquakes etc were taking place on earth the rocks had to face intense heat and pressure within the crust the result was the formation of metamorphic rocks at the same time sedimentary rocks were also subjected to the same heat and pressure hence were also converted to metamorphic rocks as these metamorphic rocks are subjected to more heat they melt this heat can be generated due to magma and friction produced by earth's crust just like sedimentary rocks these molten metamorphic rocks would erupt again on the surface or cool down within the crust to form new igneous rocks as these metamorphic rocks were exposed to the surface they too had to face the harsh atmosphere which began breaking it down and disintegrating it to convert these rocks into sediments these sediments further deposited into low lying areas compacted and cemented to form sedimentary rocks the cycle has continued since billions of years and it's constantly going on as we are talking about rock cycle the interconversion of rocks from one type to another can be seen in this diagram if you look closely the igneous rocks were the primary rocks due to natural agents and gravity they underwent erosion followed by transportation and deposition in low lying areas which created sediments when these sediments were further compacted and cemented they form sedimentary rocks igneous rocks also went through heat and pressure and formed metamorphic rocks in turn metamorphic rocks also get melted due to heat by the magma or lithospheric plate movement and it converts to magma which further cools and solidifies to form igneous rocks sedimentary rocks can also go through heat and pressure and turn into metamorphic rocks which are further exposed to the harsh climate and it undergoes erosion transportation deposition to form sediments and further compaction and cementation from sedimentary rocks sedimentary rocks can undergo erosion transportation deposition and convert into sediments which further compaction and cementation form sedimentary rocks again this is how the rock cycle works one type of rock turns into another and then back to the same type 
the rock cycle and the interconversion of rocks from one type to the other has been of great importance the most important benefit of the rock cycle is that in the course of formation of sedimentary rocks very vital soil is formed which has helped life to survive on this planet second is the formation of fossils which are vital clue to unravel the mysteries of our past also the formation of new minerals ores and gemstones happen due to the change of one rock to the other this was all for this session in the next session we will focus on ores and gemstones don't forget to watch thank you